In the wake of the toxic train derailment in East Palestine last month, Cleveland City Council has introduced a resolution on railroad safety. Council will hold a special hearing on the subject on Tuesday, March 21st. Meanwhile, Governor Mike DeWine is issuing a warning to the people of East Palestine about people impersonating CDC and Norfolk Southern workers coming to their door. He recommends asking for identification and not sharing any personal information with them. Finally, there will be another community open house this Thursday evening. That's at the East Palestine School Gym on Grant Street. It's an opportunity to, for residents to ask questions to a number of different agencies about the aftermath of that derailment. Tonight, we take a closer look at the chemical at the heart of the train derailment danger. Yeah, it's vinyl chloride. It's been used for decades to make PVC pipe and other plastics, but in its unstable form, it's toxic to humans. Tonight, 3 News Investigates takes you inside research into vinyl chloride that now questions how safe is safe. On the campus of the University of Pittsburgh. We have developing ones like here. You'll find the nation's preeminent lab exclusively studying vinyl chloride. So it, it changes the DNA. Where leading expert Dr. Julian Bayer has serious concerns. So we don't know um, what a level would be that is considered safe. Vinyl chloride, PVC's plastic building block. 1.1 million gallons of the toxic chemical released into the environment in East Palestine. EPA monitors have not detected any volatile organic compounds above levels of health concerns. More than a month after the train derailment, the U.S. EPA and contractors hired by Norfolk Southern continue to test the air, soil, and water. So far, no reports of toxic chemicals above federal safety limits. The EPA is basing that on the current uh, um, risk levels that we have um, that are considered safe. But Bayer's latest research could turn those federal standards on its head. Byers' team studied mice subjected to levels of vinyl chloride that's currently considered safe. Over a period of weeks, 100 percent of the mice developed tumors. They also combined a high-fat Western diet with these so-called safe levels of vinyl chloride and found the exposure sped up liver disease and cancer. Is it fair to say that it brings to question how safe is safe? Exactly. We cannot dismiss any levels. Buyer's major fear is that vinyl chloride could sneak into the groundwater over time, where it would stick around for years, then potentially be transported to homes and private wells, then back into the air. About a mile and a half away here at Carnegie Mellon University, a team of researchers went into East Palestine to do their own independent testing for pollutants. What they found was concerning. The team found elevated levels of acrolein, a byproduct of burning vinyl chloride, which Norfolk Southern decided to do with the intent to avoid a potential explosion. The potential concern is more for longer term, you know, weeks to months to years. But as East Palestine residents continue to hear reassurances from federal officials, we, we, we came up with the plan. Scientists are urging for long term testing until answers as to what's safe come into focus. People, you know, hear, oh, the, you know, these are safe levels as deemed by OSHA. But to that notion, you say what? that we need more data to validate. So more work to do. You know, what's next for Dr. Byer? She is looking to study the mm. people in East Palestine because they had that level of exposure. This is an, an unfortunate situation, but a scientific opportunity to learn more and to track what happens to these people after this exposure in East Palestine. And I feel like the people in East Palestine, they've been saying, you know, what are the long term effects? Right. Long term effects. They're worried about it. So for this scientist to be continuing to study this yeah. and vowing to do it, I think is is hopefully going to give them a little peace of mind. Right. Because we just don't know. Yeah, we just don't know. Lena, thanks. Mm -hmm.